Stinson, and I'm the administrative director of the Benefit Kids University Incorporated. This is Janetta Woodard, Solana Moses, the Solana Professor, Tammy Hill, and we represent Team PKUE. Our agenda will go as follows, starting with the current environment, potential growth opportunity, solution, competitive strategy, required investment, return on investment, and even the exit strategy. Many of you have heard the phrase, it takes a village to raise a child, but we here at PKU would like to be that village in the development stages of children in Prairie View and the surrounding communities. But first, let me tell you a little bit about Prairie View that sits on the outskirts of metropolitan Houston, Texas. Prairie View became the home of Prairie View Indian University, which was founded in 1876, becoming the second oldest institution of higher learning in the state of Texas. Prairie View Indian University was also designated by uh, in the institution of Texas, excuse me, Preview and University was also designated in the Constitution of the state of Texas as being one of three institutions of the first class. Currently, Preview was also uh, named amongst the top 50 best colleges for African Americans by Black and the Press Magazine, and was also amongst America's best colleges by the U.S. News and World Report Magazine. Ten percent of students and faculty of Prairie View and University have kids at the age that requires a daycare facility. That brings us to the three main factors that need to be addressed. The first factor being the university's strict policy against children in the classroom, which poses as a distraction to both professor and student alike. The second factor being the university's continuous growth in enrollment which currently this year has reached its top point of 8,000 plus students. The last uh, factor being supported by the first two is the need for a facility of this magnitude that promotes both growth and development. Now we turn the floor over to Ms. Witter, who will further expand on the growth potential. Ms. Witter. I'm Janelle Witter, and I'm CEO. University community of Prairie View A&M has enormous growth potential. Over the last 10 years, structures have been built in order to accommodate students and faculty. This includes a new science building, architecture building, and a modern technology-based student center. The city of Prairie View is also growing rapidly. We plan to capitalize on the surrounding areas of the Waller County in order to <coughs> accommodate all coming through the Houston area. We will provide quality child care in order to accommodate commuters and the public traveling to work. And now we will have Ms. Moses on our solution. Thank you, Ms. Woodard. I am Ms. Wanda Moses, and I am the Vice President of Operations. Our solution, as a state, we are a state-of-the-art child care facility that is kid-friendly. It is in a convenient location, located right outside of previous campus. It is, has been, it is, it is available and most convenient for motor traffic and also walking traffic. Now, you may be wondering, what happens, how safe is this facility? We have internal and external security features. Internally, we have all employees prior to employment, they will go through a background check, also a drug screening. We also have monitored video that will monitor the behavior between student and teacher along with student and student, and, um, student and student, excuse me. Externally, we will have our police campus to monitor the perimeters of our facility. Now we will have a tailored curriculum that is tailored through our College of Education. And it will be supported by our College of Education. We will feature bilingual education, a 
along with, along with our computer skills. Our students will also be, a, will be grouped along with age and developmental skills. Next, we will have a nutritious menu because our facility will be open from 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. So therefore, we will have three meals a day along with two healthy snacks. Next, you may also wonder, what happens to my sick child? Well, we have a quarantine area that is separated, as you can see. It is separated from all other children. Therefore, they can sit there and wait for their parents along or with for emergency services. Now we'll hear from Ms. Alfaso, who will be speaking on our competitive strategy. Thank you, Ms. Moses. As my name is Gisela Alfaso, and I am the Vice President of Marketing. Now, as Ms. Wood previously mentioned, we are targeting students that attend Prairie View, as well as faculty and staff that work at Prairie View. Our target market will also include residents in the immediate Waller County area. And since this area is rapidly growing, we have the opportunity in the future to target students, uh, target parents, excuse me, beyond this radius. Now, our strategic goal is to become the child care center of choice for parents. Now, in order to accomplish this, we've adopted a concentrated growth strategy that will enable us to grow along with the university and the surrounding areas. By providing a viable child care alternative for students and faculty alike, we help attract students to the university who might otherwise be deterred from pursuing their educational or career goals. We're charging fees based on the convenience and the amenities that our customers receive by utilizing our business, rather than simply competing on low cost alone. We differentiate ourselves using our strengths in order to seize the opportunity in this market. Now, Ms. Moses previously mentioned some of the areas of our strength, but they include a learning-inspired curriculum aimed at total child care development, a secure nurturing environment, well-trained teachers and caregivers, as well as convenience through proximity to Prairie View's campus, competitive rates, and also flexible hours to accommodate all types of student schedules. Now, we achieved this strategy by focusing in on our niche, which is the ability to provide quality child care for parents um, in our non-urban setting. We not only offer the convenience and quality that they seek, but also the reliability and the affordability, affordability that they command. Now, our competitive strategy allows us the flexibility in the future to grow uh, with the market as the community grows. Now, let us hear from Ms. Hill as she discusses our financial positioning and exactly what it will take in order to get this venture off the ground. Thank you, Ms. Alfesa. Good morning. My name is Tammy Hill, and I'm the Chief Financial Officer of PKU Inc. We are asking for a loan of $500,000. This loan will be secured by our building valued at $300,000, land valued at $100,000, and each member of management will be equally responsible for the remaining amount. In addition to the loan, we as a management team will contribute a total of $212,500 or $42,500 per member. Based on our projections, we can begin repayment of the loan in the fourth quarter of year two of operations. Now I know you're wondering what type of return you're gonna get on this investment. Your return on investment can be calculated by dividing your profit after taxes over your total investment. If you remember from the previous slide, total investment will be comprised of the $500,000 loan and the $212,500 management contribution. Uh, in year three, we project healthy net profits of $343,148. Our return on investment then comes out to 48.2% in year three. We feel that we can have this type of return and maintain a steady level of income because of the attraction due to increased student enrollment, two sectors of the Prairie View community expanding, that being Waller County and Houston, and finally, the growing awareness and reputation of our facility itself. 